Hey guys, Ryan Salson here. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the top marketing strategies for small to medium sized businesses. So if you're out there and you're wondering what you can do as a small business owner in order to really get a high number of quality leads. When I say quality leads, I mean high commercial intent leads, meaning people that are looking for your services at the time that they actually make the call or reach out. A lot of times business owners think that they can run advertising like Facebook advertising or anything else. Well, one of the most powerful tools out there is Google still because the commercial intent, meaning the likelihood that that person is wanting your services at that moment is the highest when somebody actually types into Google your business name or what they're looking for and their city. It's been that way for many years now. And when you're a local business, there are strategies that Google has created that are specific for small to medium sized local businesses. So that's why today, if you're going to really try to get a consistent number of leads coming in on an ongoing basis where you don't have these big ups and downs where you have a consistent lead volume. The best tools out there are still Google business profile and local service ads, bar none. If you can show up in both of those two sections, then you are going to get a high number of calls on a consistent basis. And the likelihood that those people are going to want to do business with you is significantly high because your social proof is right there with both of those strategies, with both of those ad types. So when you actually show up on Google Business Profile, the maps, it was formerly called Google My Business and Google Business. Now it's Google Business Profile. Google's completely <laughs> changed the name many different times and confused us. Bottom line is, is that one of the most powerful things about that ad unit is that your reviews were right there with your ad that made people be able to make a decision quickly because they could see what others experience of your business was they could read the actual reviews and we know that when you get more reviews you actually rank higher on both google business profile and the newer kid on the block which is google local service ads google actually created google local service ads because a lot of fake businesses were showing up in the Google business profile section. So now there's a paid ad type that's not Google pay-per-click. And the reason why Google pay-per-click is not as good as Google local service ads, in my opinion, is because they're not local businesses. The businesses that show up in Google pay-per-click are not all local businesses. And by the way, the Google local service ad section is above everything else. Okay. So it's above. Google pay-per-click, it's above Google Maps, it's right at the top. And you guessed it, your reviews that are shared between the Google Business Profile page and your Google Local Service Ad page, those reviews are shared. So when you get a review on Google Business Profile, it's shared with your Google Local Service Ad page. And when somebody searches for plumber near me or plumber West Palm Beach, Florida, which is close to where I'm at, then what's going to happen is it's literally going to say businesses near West Palm Beach, right at the top. And it's going to have the Google checkbox, the green checkbox, which conveys authority. That's the reason why you have almost 30, 35% of people selecting from that Google local service ad section. Okay. So the Google local service ad section has the highest number of people clicking on that section. Why? Because it's above everything else. And it's specific, it's, it's, it's got a lot of specificity because it identifies businesses just in a certain area and that just service certain specific job types. So this is the reason why if I were a local business or a small to medium sized business, I would start by running Google local service ads, bar none, because you only pay per call and you don't pay per click like you pay for Google pay per click. And the next thing I would do is I would optimize your Google business profile page, pay a business to help you optimize it. And then the third thing I would do is get reviews, get them consistently because the more consistent you get reviews, the more consistent those reviews are, 
the higher you're going to rank on Google business profile and on Google local service ads in both of those sections. And you want to get those reviews every single week, at least one or two, preferably two or more every single week. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. The fourth thing that I would do is run Google pay-per-click. That's only after you do the first three Google local service ads, Google business profile optimization, get reviews, and then pay-per-click. The final thing I would do is make sure that your phone calls are answered every single time. Use artificial intelligence. We have a solution for you. We can make it so that every single call is answered, every single voice call, every single message lead is responded to within seconds. We can back up your intake team, okay? So let us know if you have any questions. Please text me at 619-304-5155. We also have an amazing software to help you manage your local service ads that will help you understand what your response rate is so you know why you're doing good or why you're not doing good with your Google local service ad page. We can tell you, okay? And let me know if you got any questions. Thanks, bye-bye.